Bloomberg hearts Bitcoin, FinCEN clears things up, and Dark Wallet promises to cover your tracks. Hello, I'm Rebecca Ahn, and here's what's happening today in Money and Tech. Bloomberg announced today that it is now providing Bitcoin pricing on its Bloomberg Professional Service Terminal for over 320,000 global subscribers in what the Wall Street Journal is calling a key stamp of approval from the traditional finance industry. The service will now allow users to monitor and chart data from Bitcoin exchanges Kraken and Coinbase, as well as virtual currency news and social media posts from more than 100,000 sources. In their announcement, Bloomberg noted that they are not necessarily endorsing or guaranteeing Bitcoin, but recognize that global interest in digital currencies has undoubtedly increased. With the addition of Bitcoin pricing, we're doing what Bloomberg has always done, provide transparency and solutions for the markets that matter to our clients. The U.S. Financial Crimes Enforcement Network, or FinCEN, has issued much-needed clarification via two more Bitcoin-related rulings. The new rulings state that companies selling virtual currency mining systems and escrow services should not be considered money transmitters, as long as the virtual currency mined by a third party remains the third party's property. This new insight comes in response to a concerned letter from an American miner who found it difficult to decipher FinCEN's policies issued last year. The Reserve Bank of Australia has made public a recent briefing document describing Bitcoin as a limited risk to the country's monetary policy and financial stability. The briefing also calls out the transaction confirmation process as an inefficient use of resources, demonstrating a strong understanding of the digital currency. At the same time, the Australian Tax Office has been meeting with key figures in the crypto industry in the hopes of issuing tax guidance for all digital currency users by the end of June. 26-year-old crypto anarchist Cody Wilson, most famous for 3D printing a working gun, is ready to release his next project. The much-anticipated Dark Wallet will launch on Thursday this week, with an early version of the software available as a free download, as well as a Google Chrome extension. The new wallet is designed to bundle and encrypt Bitcoin transactions, making it difficult to trace each all the way through the blockchain. Bitcoin entrepreneur Charlie Schrem appeared in Manhattan Federal Court on Tuesday to formally plead not guilty on charges of money laundering and facilitating Bitcoin payments on the Silk Road. The presiding judge has set a trial date of September 22nd, where it will be decided whether Schrem will have to spend up to 20 years in prison. We were able to speak with Schrem last week following his appearance at the Tribeca premiere of Bitcoin documentary The Rise and Rise of Bitcoin. Keep your eye out for that interview coming soon. In the meantime, find more information on today's news stories at moneyandtech.com. And remember to follow us on Twitter at Money and Tech. I'm Rebecca Ahn, and thanks for watching Money and Tech's daily news update.